in the hell could I incorporate Tony Romo into tech news? You'll find out. It's October 10th, I'm Daria, and this is the Redhead of Geek Show. <laughs> Oops, it's already time for... What? What? Of course, another goofy Japanese item for me to cram into my show. Ever get frustrated that your iPhone 6 or Galaxy Note phablet has too large of a display for you to use with your teensy tiny hands? No? Well, if you were small and lived in Japan, I bet you'd want this. A big fake sausage finger. Japanese accessory manufacturer Thanko has created this large, soft silicone extension for your thumb. So many thoughts. I love the show Portlandia. They can ride bikes, they sure can run a feminist store, they can pickle that, but most of all, they can put a bird on it. I've always wanted to have my own version of put a bird on it, and now I'm even more jealous that someone thought of this before me. Put a tiny screen on it. Ever really needed to play Flappy Bird on a device the size of your pinky? Do you also have perfect vision? Then tiny screen might be for you. I know it's for me. About the size of a postage stamp, tiny screen will bring you all the ladies. Well, I mean, I bet a lot of people in general will eventually stop and ask you what you're pretending to play with and then you'll have to be like, oh no, I'm playing a game. See? This is my tiny screen. And then maybe at some point that would be a woman. You could ask her out. Hopefully she likes to play on tiny screens as well. What else about the screen? It costs 25 bucks. And no, you're not the only one who thinks something you can barely even see should cost that much. Oh, and wait, that's just for the display. For the display, <coughs> tiny display, teensy controller boards, nearly non-existent battery, you need to hand over $55. 55 life-size dollars. But hey, I must be one of the few skeptics because this project made what? On Kickstarter. This is going to be amazing. How about wearing some Oculus Rift headgear while watching a film? Not only an awesome way to enjoy Christopher Nolan's new film, Interstellar, but what a way to try out the VR headset without having to spend a fortune buying them. New Yorkans, you're the lucky ones for now. This is where the upcoming space-themed thriller has already blown the minds of a whole bunch of moviegoers. The rest of us, stupids, have a chance still because this thing is actually going on tour. I'm waiting. I'm counting the moments. I'm holding my... No, I'm not. I, I'm a little ticked. A, a little annoyed. Some news just came to my attention. I have to tell you about it. I'm not pissed. I'm actually just kind of embarrassed for Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella, who just said some really, really stupid words out loud. Women who don't ask for raises have good karma. Not asking for equal pay with men is a superpower. That's it, that's it. It's like saying, it's not my skin color, it's karma. Ugh. For a company in dire need of some rejuvenation, this guy probably said that and then immediately was like, Oh, shit. This was all at a conference celebrating women in computing, saying he wants to trust in women that don't ask for raises, and that having trust in the system will give you the right raises. What do you think of this? I'm concerned not at all about the level of women in computing, but the women that do the same work as men and come to find out they are making $20,000 less than their male counterpart. As a huge Mario Kart fan, I am instantly in love with this idea called Romo Kart. An educational tiny robot called Romo who is controlled via iPhone app and combined with projection mapping in a uh, living room. Romo Kart lets you race robots around a race course that you create, all while firing missiles and throwing, oh yes, just like the game, bananas at your opponents. It works by scanning your room and generating an optical race course based on the layout of that room. The system tracks the Romos using the camera, then projecting the game's environments according to their positions. If you happen to be a true tinkerer, a gigantic dork, or a gamer, you need the following. The robot, Romo, who despite its name doesn't disappoint us right before the finish line. Romo. 
don't worry, this guy delivers when it counts. His name is Romo, and you can trust this one's game. He's anything but a choker. Unlike other Romos we know, this one can make a big comeback and win the race. Okay, that one's being a little mean. <clears throat> You'd need Romo, an RGBD camera, a projector, and to know how to do all of this crap. More cool stuff came out this week. I just, <laughs> I don't have the time to tell you guys about everything. How about this awesome Kano DIY Raspberry Pi computer and coding kit, a new ultrasonic gesture control technology, and a specialized plastic cover called FlexSense to make your tablet super interactive? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next Friday. You can tell me what you think of Tony Romo in the comments below. I mean tech. You can tell me what you think of tech in the comments below.